Hello YouTubers, Diecast Collectors. Today is Friday, February 28th, 2014. And this is going to be another rendition of Jared's Diecast Corner. It's going to be a haul video because it's the end of the month and the month ends uh, two days short, as you know. So today I'm going to be showing you quite a few things that I've gotten over the course of the last month since I'm kind of trying to do videos monthly and not uh, weekly so let's get started so before um, a few weeks ago I uh, went out to my local uh, I think it was Walmart no it was Walmart Market and I finally managed to get a bat pod I think this was beforehand but I think I got the bat pod so this is pretty cool I've been trying to find this I like Batman stuff and really what collector doesn't like Batman so yeah pretty cool piece there's no Batman on it though but it's still pretty neat it's got the guns up front all in all you know it's only two colors really but still and the good thing is they painted this part so they made it, they did a pretty good job on this one I really like it so very nice piece yeah very good alright so that's that one so on the same day I was I went out to my flea market but I think I went to the market afterwards so I went to the flea market and I managed to pick this up it's kinda gonna be in order and try to order it as much as I can from days I bought everything so yeah I got this piece at the flea market pretty nice it's a 49 mercury lead sled yeah, very nice. Very nice looking. It's got a DeSoto grill on the front. Purple flames. It's a very good piece. Very early Ertl collectible, so when they did this, it's pretty nice. It's a back window right there. You can kind of see there's a lot of chrome detailing around the window. It's very nicely done. So yeah, pretty cool car. Very nice lake pipes on the side definitely is a cool classic car so definitely like this piece alright so there's that one finally got a 118 scale 49 Merc uh, and I, a few weeks ago buh, 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 let me think before on Valentine's Day my mom got me a few things at the Walmart first piece she got me since it was that day um, this Toyota FJ Cruiser very nice, thank you mom. Another cool piece to add to my collection with the front grill. Very good paint. Very nice purple color. It's an older one but it's still pretty cool. And I really like this piece. Another piece my mom got me is the Catrum. Catrum uh, RS500 R500 super light pretty cool car and yeah these things are very lightweight you can barely tell that it's in there but it's pretty cool very nice looking very nice car got a nice painted front end with the license plate I did do a very good job with the tampo in the front so seven up there with a blacked out grill very nice looking as you can see there's one pipe because it's a uh, I think it's a Lotus 7 engine in these things that usually powers these and yep rear end very nice car very cool sporty looking car so yeah and I, while I was out there I also picked up the Astro Funk yep love this fancy casting this and Fangula are kind of tied for my all two favorite pieces and die casts so like I said again another nice car very cool very cool and also I'll just show all the Hot Wheels all the main lines right now um, a few weeks ago I was out at Toys R Us um, I think about a week ago I think last weekend I was out at Toys R Us and I managed to pick up a new Flint Mobile and yes I was very happy to get that very cool car 
Um, you can notice the gray wheels and everything. Very nice. Very nice back end. Looks good. Um, I like the way they did it. They did it okay. I kind of wish they had put real rollers on it, but I guess, you know, to cut costs, they kind of did it with just the base and everything. But still, nonetheless, pretty nice. It's the same casting it's been. I think there was one like a, a long, long time ago made. I don't know when it was, but it was very long ago, like in 90 something. It was an exclusive piece that somebody covered once. But yeah, pretty cool. And it does have rollers on there, so it will actually roll along. So pretty cool. So yep, there's a Flintmobile. Very nice. One to pick it up. Trying to find it. Good find. I'm also trying to find the Homer and the Mystery Machine. Those are the pieces I seem to be missing. Alright, so my dad gave Don some money, about $60, and Don gave me a, a little care package before, uh, like at the beginning of the month, before Valentine's Day, I should say. But anyway, he gave me a little care package, and it involved this set right here which is the Mac Tools Gator Nationals. It's a very cool set. I really like this. These are dragsters and these are top fuel fuelers. Very cool pieces. This one, Joe Amato. It's a very nice piece. Black, red. I really like these a lot. They look pretty good. You know, they're a nice set. I'm you know, I really like these, you know, they're small and everything, so, I mean, but, you know, they're detailed for their size, you know, how much more could you ask for for a dragster that small? Pretty nicely detailed, got a grayed out supercharger there, you can see the roll cage is actually painted, so, yeah, all in all, these are very nice pieces, but yeah, you can see the sponsor decals, all kinds of stuff on this. It actually has the marking Goodyear Eagle on the tire back and front. Very good. And then you got a pink one that says Butch Blair. I have no idea who this is, but I do like these sets because I do like top fuel dragsters myself. So yeah, very nice. Very nice. Really famous name that everyone should know is Scott Kellietta. And that's pretty that one's pretty cool right there. I did look in this package. It is sealed and I'm not going to open it because it, the inner inner clear piece is sealed to that back piece. So this is not going to get open because I like it too much. So I'm not going to crack this one. But yeah, very nice. Very cool. I won't be cracking this one though. Sorry guys. All right. And then, of course, you have the... I can't really get it on camera because this stuff is in the way. But then, of course, you have the Gator Nationals event car. Each piece had one of these, I think. But right there, you can kind of see it. Again, very cool. Very cool set. On the back here, it mentions another few sets. There's a Chief Auto Parts National. There's a Gator Nationals and the U.S. Nationals. So I think there's a few other sets. I wouldn't mind having the U.S. National set because that's the really, I think that might be the really big one. I'm not sure. But that's pretty cool. And then, of course, you got funny cars, which these would be cool to own right here. I would like to have some of these sets. These are pretty neat. I like funny cars and dragsters. I like both of them. So. And then you can see all these have the event cars with them and the other one with the event car as posted so pretty cool would like to have the funny car sets but my friend Don does not have these I wish he did right so anyway next thing I'm going to show you I got a Hot Wheels set from Don yeah he also dropped this by this is part of my little care package that he gave me it is the Motor and Music 5-pack set. Unfortunately, I didn't notice this before, but there is a little issue with the packaging. There's a little tearing right there. But 
Eh, that's okay, I guess. I, I, put, I probably could tape that up, but it really does kind of affect everything of the value of this set. But, oh well. I'm buying it just to keep it in my collection, but it kind of sucks that there's a little tear right here. Anyway, Motor and Music 5 pack. You have a Cadillac Eldorado that says hip hop on it. That's pretty cool. With the gold wheels and the gold trim. Very nice car. Heavy metal Corvette. Yeah, that one's cool. I like the turbine wheels on that. The uh, Cadillac has the lace wheels on it. I really like the turbine wheels on this one. So that one's very cool. Rockabilly. I guess he's kind of going his own direction there. If you notice, it's Purple Passion, but it's kind of switched around. It was kind of not put in there correctly, so it was an error. So yeah, pretty cool. Rockabilly with the dice. Very neat car, very neat car. Says 13 on the roof with a spade and some flames. And then you have a Mustang that says Classic Rock on it. This one's very nice too. This one actually had that opening hood. And you know, also had the punk rock. I would say that's a 67 Mustang. I'm not sure. But I do know this casting. This is the punk rock. That is a 67 Camaro. And that is the... That's a pretty cool casting, actually. Um, that one actually has an opening hood also. I do know that, however... So, that has an opening hood. Turbine wheels, just like the Mustang, turbine wheels. So that one's pretty cool. Anyway, let me get on with this now. Alright, so next thing I got. I was also happy to get this, too. I wanted this really bad. I mean, didn't really want it really bad. wasn't expecting to get it, but I do like it. It's very cool. Chief Winter Nationals. Again, one of 10,000. Another limited edition set. I don't know if I said that before, but the other one was a limited edition set. One of 10,000. First one is a girl, Shelly Anderson. And this is the Haviland Dragster. This one's pretty cool. Really good tampos on these. I will say they did some good graphics on these pieces. These are very nice. I don't know how much he's retailed for, but these are pretty cool. There's another one, Bruce uh, Sarver. Yeah, very cool car. Car Quest. But yeah, very nice Car Quest car. Again, very popular, uh, it used to be a very popular auto parts destination. I don't know how popular CarQuest is now, but yep, very well known company. Still are. Very cool car, though. And Corey Mc Clintham. Clintham, I don't know how to pronounce his name. McDonald's Dragster. Yep, very nice one, too. Again, very cool. Chief Winter National set. And then, of course, as with every set, you got the Chief Winter Nationals event car. And see, I can show it kind of at this angle. It's kind of hard to show it at the other angles, but yeah, you can see pretty much just standard Chief Winter Nationals Tampa is nothing really special, but it's still cool. And there you go. It says 19. Huh, 1996 is when these were. Huh, interesting. So this set is from a while ago. So yeah, pretty cool sets. Reminds, kind of reminds you of what dragster racing used to be. Very interesting. I like these sets. So yeah, very cool. Okay, so moving on. Don also gave me a few other pieces. He gave me a bunch of Foose cars. First one I'm going to show is the Grandmaster. Very nice piece right here. It is a silver liquid, uh, I'd call it a liquid silver chrome or something. Very nice. And then it's got that two-tone part gray on top. I just call it a liquid silver. I don't know what to call it. I 
don't know what the name of the official name of the color is, but um, very nice. Uh, it's got all these uh, striping. I really like this subtle look at this hot rod. It looks cool. Nice chrome front end. Nice painted headlights. And they are painted. They're not jeweled, but still they're pretty nice. Good looking rims, as most Foos cars. Pretty much Foos cars are mostly about the nice wheels. And I always like what Foos does with his rims, so very nice looking. And rear says Foos on the back. And in case you didn't miss it, it does say Foos on the window. So yeah, very nice car. Yep, sweet looking Grandmaster. I also have the orange version of this in the Artist series. So yeah, I have the other edition now. Very cool. Alright, so next piece I got was the 69 Camaro. Yeah, very nice. This one's cool. It's got uh, some striping on it. It's kind of got a grayed out hood there. Grayed out rear. Very nice wheels. Uh, gray running board right there. So they've done some changes to it. Rear bumper is red, painted red with the car to match, and then the front bumper is is red again. So yeah, this is a very nice piece again. Another Foos design piece, very nicely done. I like these. Again, I, I'll show you this one. Again, another '69 Camaro. This one, however, is a little different. This one has got some striping on it and it's got a stripe running down the running board again this one has a this one instead of having the colored bumpers has chrome bumpers and the trim back here is blacked out and of course so the foos plate up here and a foos on the window like the other one does another chrome bumper so yeah very nice car again very nice wheels like most foos cars have they even detailed the door handle and the keyhole so yeah, very good piece. Alright, so next piece I got. Camaro and Mustang. A 70 Ford Mustang. This one, I think it's a designer series. I don't think it's a uh, actual car he did. I'm not sure, because they usually show a picture. I know how J uh, Johnny Lightning is, or whatever, full throttle. I know how they are with showing pictures of the cards and stuff, so... Yeah, I don't think this was an actual car. But nevertheless, it's still pretty nice. So yeah, 70 Ford Mustang. Yep. Nice red, nice black. Again, it says Foose on the rear window. Pretty much his signature. He always puts Foose on the rear window. Yeah, very nice. I don't know if you guys know this, but... Uh, Eleanor, the Mustang in Gone in 60 Seconds, was actually designed by uh, Chip Foos. I had no idea about that. I just knew Eleanor was a sweet car, but I never knew Chip Foos designed it. I kind of figured, but I never knew that. But yep, very nice car, very nice wheels. Nice candy apple red and black. Looks good. Okay, so again is another... 1970 Ford Mustang. This one is more famously known as the Gambler, and I do have this in the M2 Machine series. <laughs> and I've also got the Camaro in the M2 Machine series, but this one is a pretty famous, uh, well known car. So, yeah, pretty cool. This out of the Overhaul in series, very interesting piece. Um, I do like it. It's a little bigger than the M2 machine because it's not exactly to scale, but nevertheless, it's a decent replica. It's pretty cool. Tail light tampos, nice wheels. Yep, very cool. And like I said, foos on the rear window and everything and all that metal. I think it's a metal base. I'm not sure. I don't know if any. I don't know what these are metal bases or not. So. Anyway, 
All right, so also Don did drop me off a few other things that were um, part of the deal. And this one is really cool. This is a uh, Ram Chargers funny car, classic plastic series Johnny Lightning. Really nice. I like this uh, piece. It's a good uh, car. Really like that candy stripe paint. That's pretty much what the Ram Chargers were famous for, their candy stripe cars. Very well known. It says Dodge on the front. I did have a version of this in the drag strip uh, Demons uh, Hot Wheels series, but I did get rid of some stuff at the flea market, and I'll tell you guys that story in a minute. When I get to what's in the foreground back there, those two bikes. So yeah, very nice Ram Chargers piece can see all the detail in there that they really put into this car very nice looking I don't want to crack this at all because it's so mint and the package is so nice and I'm not going to crack it it's too nice but anyway you can see there's a replica box of what the kit would have looked like it would have shown all the pieces of the kit and all that stuff it says Ram Chargers on the side but yeah pretty cool they included a little replica box it wasn't it didn't have anything in it but still pretty interesting Yep, very neat. Love what Johnny Lightning did back in the day. Very cool stuff. Their packages were awesome. Oh, and this one's out of the RC2 era of Lightning. So, yep, pretty cool stuff that RC2 did. I guess that was licensing with their kits and stuff. Yep, so here we go. Another piece that's Johnny Lightning Muscle Cars USA. Unfortunately, this packaging is it, it the card's in great shape, but the packaging has just yellowed so much. I just I don't know if I want to crack this thing or not because it'll be just another loose thing sitting in my collection. But it is a Shelby, it is a GT500. Maybe once I get a case or something for these, maybe then I might. But I really don't want to, you know crack this it's nice I like Shelby's a lot very nice piece though had a token too um, anyway speed racer car this one's by Jetta but I think it's one of the better Jetta pieces that they came out with this is the GRX um, I don't know if this was in the movie came out or not I'm not exactly sure but in any case it's pretty cool it looks it looks good. It's an alright piece. I mean it still kinda does look like a Jada piece, but most of the speed racer cars look like toys anyway, so I mean it's not really too too bad. I, I kinda like it. So it's it's pretty nice. I would prefer to have the Ertl one eighteenth scale versions of the original speed racer stuff, but for right now this'll do. Alright, so I'm going to get on to these two before I get on to the bikes. Don did drop me off a few things just past week. Um, he did uh, give me a few things. He gave me a magazine with some car stuff in it. And when he came by, he also dropped me off these two pieces. Number one, this is a 51 Buick LeSabre concept. Kind of had the big tail fins on it. Very nice looking piece looks cool I think it's got some chrome trim right around there it's pretty nice very nice front end at least they painted that that's pretty good I do have a boulevard no not a boulevard I have a uh, Hot Wheels cool classics version of this but I do like this one because it's got rubber tires and everything so it's pretty nice so yep there's a Buick Saber. and Don also did give me this Ferrari Racer F355 Berlinetta. Yep, pretty cool piece. This one's also pretty nice. I like it. They didn't really paint any of the front end. It was kind of more of like a main line, just with uh, different wheels, I guess. But yeah, this is more out of the. This is kind of when diecast was just uh, was a little bit better than it is now. Well, this is just before I started really collecting. That's a pretty cool piece, though. I don't know when this was done. I think it was like 2009, 2010. Ah, 2007, right there. 
So that's just when I started like barely getting into collecting. Very cool. So yeah, there we are, Ferrari Racer piece, very nice. Kind of a pyramid shaped box. It's a cool piece. Alright, so now I think I did everything. That, that, that. Yep, okay, so next thing I did get. I went to the flea market and I sold a bunch of stuff. I had to get rid of some stuff. I had uh, a bunch of Johnny, a bunch of Hot Wheels, a big bin of Hot Wheels, some cars, and um, a few things, a slot car set that I wanted to get rid of. And I got rid of all my stuff. Of, uh, I think last weekend I went to the flea market, and so then I got my 80 bucks at the flea market, and I was blowing up Don's phone. I told him I said if he wants to make some money, come over. I had 80 dollars burning a hole in my pocket. And with my eighty dollars, I bought two pieces. I actually got seventy eight dollars, but I had two more dollars to spend, so yeah. Okay, so the first piece I got is a Von Dutch bike. Very nice piece. Really like this, um I like Jada's um bikes. I don't like their cars per se. Which I can never figure that out, you know. How come Jada, a company that makes such terrible cars in diecast, in my opinion at least, I don't like Jada at all. Except their bikes, just this piece is just a mint quality. It's almost like it's almost like that Easy Rider chopper by uh, Franklin Mint that they make with all the metal and everything. It's just this piece is so nice. I mean. I tell you, if Jada made their cars half as nice as they made their bikes, they would have a really good company, but unfortunately their cars are not the best. But uh, anyway, this is a very nice piece. It's got a sprung seat. I've kind of got to hurry up here because I'm running out of time. It does have a sprung seat. Very nice rear wheel. Of course, as the Von Dutch name implies, there is a lot of pen striping on this baby right here on the tank and you can see it on the sides of the tank also yeah that springer actually does work fully working springer in the front I've actually tested that clutch pedals do work and the foot pegs flip up just the bottom ones not the top ones but still pretty cool Von Dutch logo there on that little oil tank on the oil bag right below the seat right there there's a Von Dutch logo all the wiring on the engine and everything it's just so well done because this is an old school bike and there was a lot of wires on it nothing was electronic so you had to wire up pretty much everything again shifter cable right there and the drive belts do work the back one does and the other belt works so yeah pretty nice piece metal engine full metal with uh, the chrome valve covers of course but yeah pretty nice piece yep very nice looking yeah alright so um, I got about six more minutes and I gotta hurry up and do the rest of this video see so, yep, there's the cruel world alright so next piece I got This is another really, really big bike. Well, it's not exactly really big, but it is kind of big. It is the Martin Brothers, and I love these guys. They designed some awesome, crazy, wicked-looking, new, just ultra-modern motorcycles. Um, yeah, very nice piece. And speaking of this, this is made by Toy Zone. I've also got another bike arriving this month, or next month. It might come Saturday, I'm not sure, but it's the Nostalgia. It's a yellow Bel Air bike, so if you see my channel the next video, keep an eye out for that. You have not seen the last of the bikes. These are the first two I've gotten this year that are big scale. This is kind of a record for me, but still, you have not seen the last of the bikes. I'll be ordering a Penny Saved or buying one of those soon. It's a one-fifth scale. I just got to save up $100, and then I'm probably going to get Mikey's bike from the OCC uh, choppers but 
I'm going to quit yammering about the stuff I'm planning to buy and show you what I did buy. A uh, very nice piece. Looks like a uh, just an alien or a shark or something. It just has that look. It's just really mean looking bike. Um, very fantasy looking, I will say. It's just hard to believe that any of this can be done, you know, in metal, but the way these guys do their motorcycles is just crazy. Um, but yeah, very nice. All the wiring, again, this is a nice quality piece, just well done. It's got that nice big old spike on the rear. Looks like a big rolling knife going down the road. And yeah, the front suspension works. The drive chain, I can't figure out how they did that. The drive chain actually works. <clears throat> and it rotates the front <clears throat> drive belt. It must have cost an arm and a leg to do something like that if they were going to do it now. <laughs> but yeah, the drive chain actually does work, so... Hats off to Toy Zone for doing that. <clears throat> yeah, very nice piece though. Have a big M on the tank. There's really no airbrushing on this motorcycle to spoil the chrome. It's there's no skulls like I've seen the other styles of this uh, particular bike on eBay. There's a white one with skulls. I think there's a green one. There's a purple one. So they did all kinds of different styles. Foot pegs do work. However, the uh, there's a clutch rod over there that actually doesn't work. I kind of wish it did, but yeah, it's still a nice piece though. Very good. And yeah, I got a screaming deal on these $80 per for both of these bikes. And this one is going for like 70 on eBay. And the Von Dutch is like $50. So I spent like, I don't know. I spent like 30 under what what these should have been, so I got a very good deal on them. So anyway, all right, folks. Well, that is my haul video for the month. I will have another one next month, so stay tuned. And for right now, I'll probably be doing some reviews of cars until then. So anyway, for the best diecast reviews, check out my channel, the JMan63. Rate, comment, subscribe, check out all my other videos, go see what's new. Anyway guys, have a good one. Goodbye.